Hey guys, wish you guys back. We're bringing you all gear and stuff again. This time we're gonna start on the most basic shoes we have out there. Top one Feiyu shoes. All right, now typically when you get these shoes, they're gonna come in this little cheap paper bag, which is in Chinese. If someone can tell me what that means, that'd be great. I mean, they have this little Pinocchio, so I'm not sure if that has any to do anything with it, but you know, it's there. As for the shoes themselves, they're mostly made out of canvas with rubber soles and rubber toe caps. Off on the sides of the shoe, both sides, in this case, we got the Feiyu emblems, both in red and black, but they vary according to which color shoes you get. If we take a closer look at the shoe, up on top, inside, right on the tongue, we got Top 1, sewn onto the tongue of the shoe, which is the company that made the Feiyus in China, and if we take on the other side, we got some numbers. Inside the shoe on the sole, we have the sizing number, which is currently in European, this one is size 43. The very bottom of the shoe has a rivet pattern which is designed so it can have a little bit of grip and on the middle we have some lettering and a green triangle. In some cases this green triangle will actually be a red circle. Upon closer inspection the gluing job and well the assembly of the shoe isn't exactly the best and you can see it all around even on the you know on the canvas but you know it'll it'll do. A common variation you may find in the shoe is the color of red, white, and blue. They also come in pure white, as shown right here, but we also have one in pure black, which I currently don't have. Double Star, a different company, also makes them with a different emblem on the outside, and they feature their emblem on the inside. It's pretty easy to spot when you look inside. If you are considering on wearing these shoes for casual wear, this is how they look on, well, you know, casual wear. The only issue I would see with the black versions is that the gum rubber bottoms might stand out a bit too much from the dark colors above it, especially if you wear dark wash jeans. The white ones will blend in much better with their little gum rubber bottoms due to the light colors. They'll give a little pop to your clothes. Now these are fairly cheap shoes, so the weight of them is going to be a little heavier than you would like, weighing up to about 10 grams about. Generally speaking, these shoes grip onto any surface just fine. Something that should be noted, however, is that the bottoms are slightly rounded on a horizontal axis. This means you can rock back and forth, and this may cause problems in balance. Due to the materials, the sound of them when you kick isn't exactly the loudest or the best. Yep. Unless you haven't noticed, we actually have a whole bunch of these shoes which I've piled up here. This is because we tend to go through them very quickly. Well, not very quickly, but every few months, which can be considered pretty quick. These shoes bottoms just kind of wear out as we use them for wushu, and in my case I use them for casual wear and I jump around and I kind of just go through them quickly. Uncommon breaks would be ones on the side. The more common break would be ones in the toe, as well as those splits you may see in the middle, which can split all the way apart. Now, these shoes go for around 10 to 20 bucks depending on where you get them from. We get them from Kung Fu Direct, we're going to leave a description below so you guys check it out. The price for us is just around the middle, usually around 15 bucks, sometimes there's sales, you never know. Now there's also a European version which you can get on the European side, also going to be in the link in the description. However, they're significantly more expensive, but they come in a whole myriad of colors. Another issue with them is they're going to have much thicker soles, which aren't too great for Wushu, but it's much better and more comfortable for like casual wear. They're going to be like a pair of Converse shoes. As for durability, these shoes are going to last for about a few months to a year depending on usage. In Wushu crowds, they last for about maybe a few months due to you know, the kind of stresses we put them through. For casual use, they can last up to a year or more for some cases. It really depends on where you walk, how much you use them, and if you run or not in them. Now I'd recommend these shoes for mainly beginners in Wushu, as well as those who are on a tight budget who just want like a pair of shoes to wear out during practices only. You can also wear them for casual wear, but you know, um, I wouldn't recommend the Chinese brand ones because they're just a little janky looking. The European brands look a lot nicer on the feet for casual wear, however they come at a much greater premium. Now on the other hand, I do Tai Chi, so I actually wouldn't recommend them for Tai Chi. The very bottom of the shoe is actually slightly rounded, and it will throw off people's balance when you have to do any stands or holds on one leg. Now on a side note, Feiyu shoes have actually gotten much more popular in the free running crowd. The only issue I should point out for those who like to use these for free running is that the shoes are going to wear out way much faster for you guys. The reason the shoes will wear out much faster in free running situations is because all the friction they're going to get from the different terrains they're going to be used on. Now, it's also going to be used for running up the walls as well as landing from jumps, and that's going to stress out the rubber on the bottom much faster than they would in a bushu carpet or hardwood floors. Just something you should probably keep in mind before getting a pair for free running. And so that is it, guys. Those are Feiyu shoes. Go get yourself a pair. Or not. I mean, you don't have to. It's up to you. You just get out there and do it.